Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original animated series, A Tale Dark and Grim. Let me know in the comments below, have you read the original book this is based on? Are you excited? This is a family series but uh, it, it, it is pretty grim. Let's jump into it. Hansel and Gretel run away from home to find better parents, or at least ones who won't chop off their heads. As Hansel and Gretel leave their own story and venture through other classic grim fairy tales, unexpected narrators guide us through the encounters with witches, warlocks and dragons, even the devil himself. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this, but I, going into this I thought it was going to be quite kiddie because of the animation style lends itself to thinking, okay, this is just for younglings. But actually I think it's for the whole family it definitely lends itself to parents who have read the grim tales or enjoy the grim stories the original fairy once upon a time stories uh, where hollywood have obscured those to make them what they think is okay for young children now we go back to kind of the original roots and so we have this animation style that lends itself to kids who are going to love the animation style and it is for a young demographic but then in amongst that we have that storyline being narrated uh, by three crows who are basically helping us to see the more adult story there so when there is gore they'll do a weird 2d type of animation and or jump in front of the camera and say no don't watch this but he's like are you sure you want to let your kids watch this they narrate it make it funnier because obviously they can't if it's a it's a all demographics story they can't allow uh, blood and gore and guts but at times it is still quite dark so i think those kids that really like some darkest dark storylines but parents won't allow them to actually watch anything scary this might push the boundaries for them just a little bit so they enjoy it more i think parents will enjoy this as well because it's not your run-of-the-mill once upon a time story like i said it's those grim original stories one of my favorite tv series is the grim series i always like going back to the original because it's so much darker and when you find out where those once upon a time stories actually came from where they hail from the original stories always so much darker and how they've been twisted like a broken telephone the message has absolutely gone from being like oh this is the like a love story to this isn't actually a tragic horrific often horrifying story so it's perfect for a spooky month family uh storyline that i think will be fun for all the family I do think it takes its time getting to the storyline and I was surprised uh, that I felt that way because they don't hold back there's about 30 minutes a piece so that it's it's properly animated for a long period of time I expected 25 minutes maybe 20 minutes uh, which is kind of standard for this type of animation but no some of them are 30 minutes some longer 10 episodes I do think we could have cut down some of the slow pacing and some of the stories that they were dragging out a little maybe gone for the eight or seven uh nevertheless we have the 10 and it's interesting the way they go because i thought looking through it there was going to be these individual storylines from the grim stories and it was going to be hansel and gretel then it was going to be you know you can take your pick from the multitude instead it's hansel and gretel but not like you've seen them before in fact they are experiencing other grim tales uh through the Hansel and Gretel storyline and so there's like all these learning moral of the tales like what it is to be a young person what it is to be a family member so by the time you get to the end we have the big action sequence crescendo and everybody that they've um affected with their lives come together at the end we have that really kind of nice culmination the story wraps up okay but everybody learns something and I feel like you'll come away going oh that was great because it was a bit scary not too risque uh, a lot of fun, some adult comedy in the background and also some adult content that will probably fly over very young uh, youngsters watching this. Uh, but adults will be like, yeah, I know what they're referencing there or that's an interesting way to go with that original Grimm story. I think you're still going to enjoy the book more, the original book, because there's always stuff that they leave out or your imagination just kind of doesn't quite relate to what you see on screen. But as an adaptation, I think it's really enjoyable. The score is often really great. The animation, when you, it, it I think you'll, if you're an adult used to different types of animation, I think you'll get used to it. I do like the change up when they do the 2D. I think the voice work is excellent. I think this was a solid animation, um, kind of spooky month series that for you know another take on the grim series very enjoyable i'm going to give this a four and a half nicholas cages out of five so let me know in the comments below 
were you excited about this? Was this even on your radar? Um, I think if you're looking for something to watch with your family over the Halloween period and it's not too scary but has some depth there and it's not as youngish as you were hoping, maybe you don't have to watch one of those Halloween movies that you've watched loads of times, something new, then this might be the thing that you want to put on. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it's a well put together storyline. Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.